Hey, Glenn Bernie, do you have a friend or maybe a special someone? Then sign up for a Valentine's Day e-card from SGA. When you sign up, you're also entered into a raffle. And if you're one of the few people chosen to be a winner, you won't need to purchase a gift for Valentine's Day because the gift will be shipped right to your house. All you have to do is fill out our form. Everybody will receive an e-card who enters the raffle, but remember, only one person per grade will get a chance to receive a prize. So sign up now and make this Valentine's Day even more special. Scan the QR code on the screen for more information. Good luck! Good morning, Gopher Nation. Today is Wednesday, February 3rd, 2021. I'm Mrs. Peterson. And I'm Mr. Dronberger. Let's go for it, shall we? Welcome to the first day of the rest of your lives. Or, well, it's also the start of the second semester. And it's also February, which is Black History Month. And to celebrate Black heritage, here is a video from Adriana Scott. Hi, my name is Adriana Scott, and I'm from the Student Equity Group, and I will be telling you about Marsha P. Johnson, a Black trans activist. Um, what's her name meant to her? Um, Marsha P. Pay It No Mind. She wanted no one to pay no mind to her that she was trans. Through this, please pay no mind that the fact she was trans, pay mind to the fact that she's a beautiful Black woman. That's what you have wanted. Who was she? She was a born and an activist at heart. She has always knew she was a trans woman. She not only was trans, she was a black and also one of the first drag queens ever in 1969. That was basically a death sentence back then for living. During this time, the Stonewall Inn, a predominant gay bar in the city, the NYPD forced 200 people to leave the bar and if they didn't, they will get violent. Violent for what? Being gay? For being a drop-dead gorgeous drag queen? This was a hate crime, clearly. The following day, she was one of the main leaders of the Stonewall Uprising marches. After the marches, she created the Gay Liberation Front, an organization that sought justice and helped protect lives of the LGBTQ community. In 1988, after 10 years of fighting against police brutality, Marsha got honored to ride in front float at the annual New York Gay Pride Parade. Thank you. Congratulations to the following students for being awesome and GBHS's January Students of the Month. In 9th grade, Rachel Foote. 10th grade, Carly Holland. 11th, Angelique Lockhart. 12th, Alina Polonitz. And the most awesome staff member, Melissa Campesino. Awesome job, everybody. And now a word from Mr. McGuire, followed by Joel's Lido Pizza Fundraiser. Good morning, Glen Burnie High School. It is the first week of second semester. I don't have much uh, to say to you this week other than, you know, good luck on a, on a great start for second semester. I can't tell you, uh, I don't know how we're going to finish this school year, but I know how we uh, need to start second semester and that's strong. So make sure you're doing all those things you need to do for your Google Classroom, meet some of your new teachers and, uh, you know, get, get reacclimated back in here for the new semester and let's make it a great week, Gophers. Hello, oh, seniors, and once Maxwell Prom graduation, well, they're scheduled and they're set, now we just need to get the money for it. February 8th through the 9th, if you go to Lido's Pizza, let them know that you're a Glen Burnie senior, and we're gonna get 20% of the profits. 20%, it's a, it's, a, it's a good amount, it's a good deal. So what I'm saying is, I'll be there, hopefully you'll be there too, and of course, um, you can also, also get delivered, we are in a pandemic, so if you do go there, make sure you're masked and stay six feet apart. Hope to see some people there. Let's go, guys. Come on. Attention seniors. If you missed your senior portrait this past Monday because of the snow, your makeup date will occur at the same time as your originally scheduled appointment. Your makeup date, however, is February 11th. Have questions? Email Ms. Brooks using the email address on your screen. Questions or need help scheduling an appointment? The phone number to call is on your screen. And now for this week's segment of Cultural Voices, brought to you by the Equity Team. Hey everybody, and welcome to this week's Cultural Voices, where your culture takes flight through you. We have some 
amazing stories to share, and we hope that you all are inspired as we travel down the road of the many cultures in our Gopher community. Stay tuned. Hello, my name is Kayla, and I'm a junior at GBHS. When I was asked to do this video about my culture identity, I first thought about what is most important to me. After careful selection, I chose my family. Families look different for everyone, whether it's the same race, gender, or even bloodline. I consider some of my friends to be a part of my family. One major topic that brings my household together is football. We are proud Ravens fans, even though we aren't in the Super Bowl. To show how much the Ravens are part of the family, here is our basement. If you can't tell, the theme is Ravens, from the carpet to the ceiling. Each game, we have food and great laughs. After the game, we play board games, go outside, and talk about what could have gone better or what they did great. These moments are really important to us, especially in this pandemic, as a lot of families are unable to be together. What are some ways that your family are staying together? Well, that's it for this week's segment of Cultural Voices. We hope that you enjoyed it. And guess what? We would love to have you join us. So if you're interested, scan the QR code or type in the link below and we'll see you there. And remember, in diversity, there is beauty and there is strength. Maya Angelou said that. Side note, this is our last time hosting the morning announcements. That's right. Much younger and, well, more talented anchors are going to take our place, Joel and Michael. And, well, I mean, we are excited to pass on the torch. Ms. Peterson, what are you going to do now? Well, I'll still be editing, so not much of a change for me. Hmm. Fair enough. Well, for me, though, uh, gosh, I'm just going to take it easy, you know, just going to take care of these plants and see where the dust settles. You do realize that you still have to teach your classes, Mr. Dromberger. Oh, uh, I do now. Um, <laughs> but, gosh, that's really, that's a, messing up my plans, but it's a hard style, I guess, huh? Um, well, that's all from us, Gopher Nation. Remember, don't stray from the burrow. Stray from the path. <laughs> Toodles. <laughs>